Hello, Dr. Wards here. So this is lab package number two. If I'm suspecting um, lab package number two, we're thinking lime, mold, or some other environmental toxin. So I'm gonna start with a mold um, environmental toxin test. This is a non-metal environmental toxin or mold test, and they're both urine tests. You um, will have a little container to collect the urine. It tells you exactly how much in the directions. Two things, you do not want to be on any binders about a week um, prior to this test. That's things like charcoal, um, bentonite clay, um, a couple different things that will bind to the mold because we want the mold to show up. So, so make sure you're off that. I say a week. I think the lab says three days, but a week is, is better. And then it's 12 hours fasting, meaning um, probably just the night before, don't eat or drink anything, take your first morning urine because more of these, these toxins and molds will extract excrete in the morning overnight your liver and your kidneys are working to get them out so more likely chance will get them in the morning so um, 12 hours fasting and no charcoal binders for a week the other thing that's really important is there's an ice pack that needs to be frozen for four hours before you ship and it comes with a biohazard bag that you'll put the urine and the frozen ice pack in together and then it comes with a fedex bag and this particular test you will call for a pickup um, you'll, you'll actually put the, it all in here, then in here, and then the FedEx bag. And it has all the instructions to call for a pickup. Um, I believe that's it. Oh, you want to ship it Monday through Thursday. Don't ship it on a Friday or a Saturday just because they don't want it sitting very long. I believe it's one or two day shipping. And so again, this is the mold Great Plains Lab biotoxin test. So we would use this for mold toxicity or, um, and maybe, and, the non-metal chemicals, so things that are like in Roundup and glycophosphates and things like that. So that is the first test in package number two, and, and you, this may be a one-off. You may just be doing the mold test or, or just the um, non-metal toxin test. So that's the mold test. The other test that's part of package number two that's separate from package number one is Lyme disease, and this is a, a blood spot test. So it comes with this really great placement card that tells you everything in the kit and how to lay it out. And it kind of wants you to lay it out. So I, I love the directions in these tests, which is great. Um, there's two parts to it. This test is testing for actual RNA and DNA of the bug in your blood. So actually particles of the blood, as well as IgG and IgM antibodies. And that's why I love this test because it's all encompassing. The other test we used to run only showed the particles of the bug. Now it tells us that your body making antibodies against that blood. But with that said, there's two parts to the test. Um, you're going to have two little kits here. And these are um, lancet kits to prick your finger, as well as um, a little blood spot card to put the blood on. So a little biohack that we know that we have is to get your fingers warm and soft, like, you know, wrinkle prune fingers that you get as a kid in the bathtub, run your fingers under warm water, get the skin nice and soft. And then you'll, you'll want to lay this out. And again, the directions are really, really good. They have a really good step-by-step, -step, you know, laying everything out directions. And it comes with this little booklet. And so it, it really walks you through it, but I just wanted, some people are better visual like this. So I wanted to to walk you through it here. So, and it has um, everything you need in it, a gauze and, and the alcohol swabs and a Band-Aid even <laughs> for your finger. So you'll wanna lay this out. Again, there's two cards. One has four circles, one has five, and they're separate. Um, yep, yeah, that's four and that's five. So you need to do both. And it's important to get your fingers soft enough to bleed. So you'll run them under cold, warm water, get them soft, and then there's two lancets in case you didn't, don't get enough blood out of the first poke. Um, you'll use the lancet and it tells you exactly how to use it and you'll, you'll prick your finger and then basically you're gonna pump some blood into the circles here. And again, there's really great pictures that you need to basically do a drop of blood onto each circle without touching the circle. So you really have to squeeze the blood out and drop it. And they're very specific on what a good um, test looks like versus not. So we wanna make sure we get enough blood. 
And that's why we want to get the hands soft and warm before we prick it so that you can get more blood out because you don't want to have to prick it again. Sometimes you do. Um, depends on how much of a bleeder you are, how thin your blood is. So this is a really good, you know, this is not enough. We need to do all of it. That's not enough blood. That's not enough. So we really need to, it can bleed over a little bit of the circle, but it really needs to cover the whole circle in each card. And it, you'll put your name and date on it and then you'll put it back in the biohazard bag that comes with it and then you'll put it in the mailing label and this one is fedex um you could call for a pickup i think you'd have to pay for that otherwise take it to a fedex um drop off spot and again you want to ship it this one monday through wednesday you don't want it sitting so that's important monday through wednesday ship it so if y'all have any questions feel free to message me to reach out to the office. We want you to get this right so you don't have to do it again to prick your finger. And we're here to help. Again, Dr. Tanisha Ward with Infinity Wellness Center. Thanks.